welcome back for another episode of Let's Go's Mr K. This week we're going to be working on loading and emptying a dishwasher safely, knowing what you can put in a dishwasher, what you can't put into a dishwasher, what you should, what you shouldn't. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, so here is everything that we're going to try and wash today. But one of the most important things that I want you to remember from this um, video is that not everything is dishwasher safe. So here are a few examples of the symbols that we will be looking out for and that you should look out for at home. On the left are the dishwasher safe symbols. Uh, they seem quite clear. Uh, and on the right are hand wash only symbols. So that's a hand in the wall in a sink or one of the dishwasher symbols with a cross through it or a line through it. As well as this, it might just simply say dishwasher safe or hand wash only. So as you use the dishwasher more, you'll start to learn what is safe to put in it and what is not safe to put in it. But as we're just starting off, I thought I'd go through a few examples. So things that are normally dishwasher safe are ceramic plates, bowls and mugs, stainless steel pots, silicon or plastic utensils, drinking glasses, stainless steel cutlery and Pyrex dishes. And there are some things that should only ever be hand washed. So anything wooden, such as utensils or chopping boards, mugs or glasses with images on them, anything made of crystal or anything made out of china. And there are some things that you should always check. So for instance, cheese graters, um, anything made out of plastic such as cutlery, dishes, mugs or Tupperware containers, and also check your sharp knives too. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off with our cutlery because we know that that's pretty much definitely okay to go into the dishwasher. But as you can see from here, there's a first step we need to do before we put it in, and that's to rinse off extra food. So, the reason we do that is so that all that food doesn't clog up the dishwasher um, and just make sure everything comes out clean. Okay, as you can see, we've already uh, loaded part of the dishwasher, and now that we've rinsed all of our cutlery, we can find where the cutlery should go. So, this tray here is what you should put that into, so I'll start loading now. Okay, now that we've done our cutlery, we're going to move on to our utensils. Uh, I've already pre-rinsed them, so now we have to think about where they're going to go. We can't put them in the basket because they're so big that they'd stop the blades turning them around. So we're going to pull out the top shelf and we're going to lay them over here, making sure that they don't overlap, um, otherwise they won't clean properly. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our dishes, which again, we know that they're more than likely dishwasher safe but there's still food on there, so we're not just going to rinse it in the sink, we need to get rid of that food, so that needs to go in the bin first. So I'll take it over to the bin. And then we'll rinse them. Okay, just wanted to show you up close. So here it says, dishwasher safe, so you know you're okay to put this in the dishwasher, like we thought. Okay, then we're going to put it in here. Again, making sure it doesn't come into contact with anything else that's already in the dishwasher. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to go onto our pots and pans. Um, if I had lots of dishes, I wouldn't put these in the dishwasher because they take up a lot of room. But as I'm not doing too much today, there's lots of space for them. So we'll put them in where we can find space. Again, they can overlap a little bit, but as long as the water can get to them. And also put your lids in as well. Maybe find space. Okay, so these are the things that we're not sure whether they are dishwasher safe or not, so we need to check them. So, I've pre-rinsed them all, um, and we're going to go through them one at a time. So, our gravy boat, let's get that first. Okay, so as you can see here, it says dishwasher safe, so we don't have to hand wash that, we can go straight in. 
Okay, so now we're going to check this mug. The reason we're not sure whether this mug is dishwasher safe is because of the image on the side. We don't want that to wash off. Okay, so let's check. Okay, as you can see here, it says hand wash only, so that can't go in the dishwasher. That'll have to go into the sink. Okay, here is an example of what happens if it shouldn't go in the dishwasher and you put it in. The image of my son's Santa Claus has started to wash off. It's not our fault though, there's no symbol at the bottom. Okay, so that's going in the uh, sink for now. Okay, onto my wife's morning brew mug. Okay, so the reason I'm question questioning this is again because the image on the front, so let's check. Okay, this one is dishwasher safe, it says there. So again, that can go straight in the dishwasher. Okay, so now we're going to go onto a glass. There's no pattern on the outside of the glass. Um, and as we said before, they're more than likely dishwasher safe. I just wanted to remind you that when you're putting things like glasses in there, just be very careful that they don't smash. So that will be going into the dishwasher. Okay, onto my two children's um, juice cups. See, these have images on the outside, so or oh, have a guess, what do you think? Dishwasher safe, not dishwasher safe, and we'll have a look. Okay, so as you can see here, it doesn't say dishwasher safe, but there is a symbol here with the dishwasher with a line through it. And what that means is it cannot go in the dishwasher. Okay, so in this dish, we have stuffing from our roast dinner. We've had to leave it to soak like you would if you're hand washing something. Um, so now all I need to do is give it a quick rinse and then it's safe to go into the dishwasher. Okay, so we've loaded the last few things into the dishwasher, so it's ready to go on. Everything's evenly spaced out and in the right sort of area. So we just over. Okay, so we need to put our dishwasher tablet in now. So we're going to put that in there. Make sure the door is shut. Okay, and now we need to have a look at the correct setting to put it on. Okay, so on your dishwasher, there's normally a few different settings. Um, on mine, there's soak, rapid, eco for economy, half load, or ultra clean. Um, because we don't have the biggest load on today, I'm going to go for the eco. So you need to turn the dishwasher on. Then you can go through your settings and click which setting you want. If you're not sure how to do that, I really advise asking for help and your parents might really insist on you doing it with them anyway. Okay, so now we've got the setting, the tablet's in. Off we go. Later that same evening. Okay, you'll know the dishwasher's done when you hear a beep, but if you haven't heard the beep, Wait until you can't hear anything, so you know that it's finished. Right, we'll open it up and see what happens. Okay, you might be able to see all the steam coming out. Shows how hot it is. So have a think, what's the safe thing to do now? Should we touch it all while it's really hot? Or should we leave it just slightly open? So that it can cool down and come back to empty it later. Okay, so now we've allowed time for the dishwasher to cool down. It's time to empty the dishwasher. Please remember to be careful with anything sharp or that, anything that might break. And then once we've done this, the job is complete. Thanks again for joining me guys, hope you've learned how to load and empty the dishwasher safely. Remember, the main thing is to check everything before you put it in, whether it's safe to do so. And if you're ever unsure, ask for help. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And if you want any work to go for it, visit my blog, the link's below. Thank you.